Food prices skyrocketed last month and are now almost 4% higher than last year at this time. A report says Americans throw away 150 billion pounds of food each year. That averages out to about $1,300 in spoiled food per family. So it's doubly important not to waste a thing. And joining us now with tips on how to keep your food fresh longer is Lisa Lee Freeman, editor-in-chief of Shop Smart Magazine. Lisa, thanks for coming in. Good morning, Russ. Always good to see you. Let's start with some of these prepackaged grains over here. We've got some pasta, we've got some flour, we've got some cereal. What's the first thing one should do when you bring these well, up? Well, you got to keep in mind that bugs and moisture are the big problem with these things. And so you want to keep the air out. You want to put them in airtight containers. Okay. Uh, because the packages often let air in. So that's your big, big concern. Or plastic bags. That's another way to go. Okay, let's say we do this. We do everything we're supposed to do. How long, how much longer can we keep this? Actually, pasta in a container like this can last up to a year or even longer. A year. And flour, six to eight months. Um, and crackers and cereal, maybe two to three months mm. maximum. Okay, yeah. all right. Interesting yeah. stuff. Let's move on to bread now. We got into a debate this morning. When you get bread, do you bring it home and put it in the refrigerator? What do you do with it? Lots of people put it in the fridge, and it's like the worst thing that you can do. <laughs> The worst thing the you worst can do. The worst thing you can okay. do is the fridge sucks out the moisture and actually makes it go stale faster. Wow. So the best thing to do is when you bring home the bread, suck out all of the air in the bag as much as you can, mm -hmm. whether it's in a paper bag or a plastic bag, put it on the counter for a couple of days. Okay. And then after that, it should go right into the freezer. Uh, and in the freezer, it can last in pretty good condition for a few months. A freezer? Yeah. And then you wow. take it out, of course, and you toast it, and it tastes very Lovely. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, my, my grandmother used to do it all the time. But you, we were talking also, when you put it in the refrigerator, you, you think you're saving. Right. You're saving it. You're leaving it a little longer. But right. it doesn't taste as good either. No. And the other thing is, is it picks up off flavors in the refrigerator, too. When you oh. have onions and other things in there, it'll pick up other flavors. So never put your bread in the refrigerator. All right. Let's talk about coffee here. I'm, I'm taking you. You take it right out of the package right away when you get home. Well, actually, you know, you could leave it in the package. But, you know, it's even better if you have a glass airtight container. Put it mm -hmm. in a cool, dry place. Uh, because, actually, the enemy of coffee is air. And actually, when you grind it, there, there's more surface area, so okay. you get even more air. And so it goes fast even it goes bad even faster. Gotcha. So what you want to do is grind and go. So grind as you go, rather. So only grind as you as you drink it. And you know how people say you want to have a fresh cup of coffee? Right. Well, fresh is you know, it's only going to last, uh, the, even if you buy beans, only a few weeks after mm -hmm. you buy it. After that, it'll still be good, but it's just not going to taste as fresh. fresh. In the container, any, what's the advantage in terms of length? Oh, well, actually, it'll last a few uh, a few weeks a few at least. Weeks and then what okay. you want to do is put it in the freezer, and then it'll last a few, it'll give it a few more weeks of f uh, fresh tasting uh, flavor. All right, let's bring, uh, let's talk about some staples of home now, some potatoes and onions. Yeah, a lot of people put these right in the refrigerator. Again, a big mistake. Uh, potatoes and onions should go in bins in a cool, dark place, like mm -hmm. in a cabinet, in, uh, in an open bin. And the other trick to this is you don't want to put the potatoes and the onions together oh, because yeah, the potato, the onions are going to make the potatoes taste terrible. <laughs> and the other thing, when you put these things in the fridge, that's the same thing. The potatoes will suck up uh, flavors and odors in the fridge. How so you definitely this, don't want to put them in the fridge. How much time does it buy you to do it that way? Uh, that'll last about two weeks, the onions, okay. and the potatoes will last a month. Very quickly, we'll get yeah. to these last two. Wax paper for the cheese and things like yeah, that. Yeah, cheese how, needs to breathe. How much time does that save you? Uh, well, you know, cheeses only soft cheeses aren't going to last very mm. long, but you're going to extend the life by putting them in okay. wax paper, letting them breathe, and that's the way to go. With and eggs. Guys. The refrigerators come with these nifty containers, so you say, leave it in the carton. That's right. Again, you're talking about flavors. The eggs can absorb those off flavors, so what you want to do, leave it in the uh, container and put it in the uh, a dark back of the, you know, back of the fridge, as, in the coldest section of the fridge mm -hmm. as possible, and you'll get three to five weeks out of it. Wow, not yeah. bad at all. Yeah. Okay, Lisa Lee Freeman, as always, thank you so much. You're welcome.